conceived having a cafe in this space in order to make it uh, a space where people could come in from the street, where people could easily find their way into the church, uh, because people nowadays aren't always comfortable or find it terribly easy to step into a church. People don't really know what to do with the church. They know what to do with the coffee shop. We live in a coffee shop culture. Uh, you come in, you order a cup of coffee, that's what you do. Um, but church, what do we do with that? So we wanted to create it as a kind of soft entrance for people. So that people could come, have good food, which is very important, and uh, welcoming staff in a nice environment. Um, and, and be in the church and see that it's not a scary place. I think one of the things we really wanted to do with the cafe was that idea of creating a sanctuary in the city centre, creating a safe space where people could come in and you could get some physical food, uh, you know, sustenance for your body, but also it would give you that kind of quiet, reflective place where you could come and also maybe get some spiritual sustenance too. The idea of it being a place where you can just sit, you can ask questions, you can chat to someone if you want to. Um, we just wanted to give people, as I say, this, this sanctuary. And if people have questions and there are people happy to answer them, we are happy to talk and just meet with people and then welcome people as part of our mission um, to the city. All of our profits, um, such as there may be, will go to Glasgow City Mission and Bethany Christian Trust. But we also work with um, the, those two charities to provide workplace employability um, placements, which gives the opportunity to some of those vulnerable people who need to get back into work to be reskilled, um, and that's really exciting. We've got a couple of people on placement and it's just great to see it happening. And we also have a suspended soup and suspended coffee scheme, which means that people can actually buy a soup or a coffee and leave it in the jar, so to speak, and uh, we'll make it available to people who, for whatever reason, can't afford to buy lunch, can't afford a soup or a coffee. So. Um, we want it to be a kind of win-win-win, a win for the church, a win for the public, and a win for some of the most marginalised people in Glasgow. First and foremost, I'm a happy customer here at Wild Olive, but I'm also, uh, I work for Bethany Christian Trust, and so we're one of the partners that has brought this social enterprise together. So we're involved in a number of ways, but I think probably the most visible is that some of the people that we're supporting are, getting, are being given the chance to actually volunteer and work within the cafe. So we're really excited about this opportunity because we can open up to lots of people that we're supporting and try and get their confidence levels up so that at some point they may be capable of, of going back into the workplace um, and you know just creating, creating a new life for themselves. We're excited by that. So we've opened the cafe to hopefully encourage people in um, to come into the sanctuary space but we've also opened it um, as a way to help some of the homeless and most vulnerable people within our city. Um, obviously we've got Glasgow City Mission um, just down the road doing their thing but we wanted to be right in the city centre doing something which was helpful. This is very much as people come and go, you know, there might be shoppers just into Glasgow for the day, there might be students on their way to a lecture, there's people on their way to work but you're aware of how many people there are in the city centre. And I think one of the things is, in our world today, you're aware of how many people actually have a brokenness, have something that hurts in them, there's a vulnerability. And I love the idea that this, this church uh, could perhaps minister to them. There's, there's, a, there's a way in which we can reach out to people, we can give them a safe place to come and ask questions, we can give them a safe place where they can come and talk and just be. You know, I think, I think we try and do that. We, we very much focus on the idea of this, this is a sanctuary and you can come to our services if you want, but there's no, there's no pressure. It's very much a come and find out we're about. I've had lots of positive personal experiences from catching up with people who I haven't seen for a while who just came in um, to just meeting people that I didn't know before and having lovely conversations with them. All the experiences have been good, I'll be honest with you, and now it's a common joke within our office that both my colleague and I, we tend to hold meetings here. Uh, and so I guess a positive experience is just seeing what's new on the menu every day because they do the most amazing, you know, interesting flavours of scones and uh, the home bacon usually gets a look in after that. So it's, I, I've got absolutely no negative feedback, I have to say. It's all been good.
I'm not really in the main cafe most of the time because I'm downstairs in the little kitchen. But yeah, it's good fun. It's something I enjoy and it's always like a nice kind of peaceful, friendly atmosphere. So it's good. Well, through the cafe, we want to bless the shoppers, the people who've got money to spend and want, want to have a really good cup of coffee. Um, you know, the, there's space for, for everyone. One, one of the nice things is that because I'm painting here in, in the public, uh, there's lots of great conversations I get to have with folks. Uh, we talk about art, we talk about faith. Um, there's never actually been an easier way for me to talk about my faith than being in here uh, doing, doing the painting. Uh, folks come for a chat and then uh, ask what I'm doing. We, we talk about the story of the Last Supper, which you know goes right to the heart of uh, Jesus' message. So it's absolutely fascinating to be able to communicate with folks in that way. So it's been really lovely. The idea is that you should be able to come into the cafe and having come in out of the hustle and bustle of Buchanan Street and a busy Glasgow city centre, this is a quiet space. Uh, this is a space that looks very different. We've got the plants around. We've created somewhere that, that gives you an air of peace um, to relax. You know what probably does stand out is the atmosphere. You know, is the fact that it's busy today and people are in enjoying it. And I came in for lunch today for a meeting with someone and ended up bumping into four people that I knew. Uh, I wasn't expecting to see them, so uh, that's just great. The fact that this is its own little community within Glasgow, a kind of haven from what's going on outside, it's, that's the, probably the biggest upside. My favourite thing to buy, um, I drink huge amounts of tea, so maybe just a big pot of tea, uh, but I do also like scones with my tea, so any sweet scone and a tea would be my favourite. Savoury scones, savoury scones. When we started, uh, the cook initially was just putting sweet scones up, but I suggested that you know maybe some savoury scones would be good. And uh, yeah, well, they always sell out first, so good call, I think, and uh, that's what I enjoy. Uh, well, I'm biased because I like it all, uh, but my little treat to myself occasionally is a latte and one of the brownies because they are absolutely amazing. Oh. Um, Generally, it's got, always got to be an Americano uh, with cold milk. Uh, I, I, I've not sampled many of the cakes. Uh, I tend to try, try and go easy on the cakes. I'm approaching 40. Can't eat as many cakes as when I was 21. Um, but uh, the, the, the coffee is probably, is arguably the best coffee in Glasgow. Tricky one for me. So I like, the soups have been great but you can't look past a good scone. And so, and let's not forget things like lemon drizzle, Victoria sponge. So, yeah, I think I've probably given it away. There's a lot of things that are good about this. There's not one particular thing that stands out. I think for me, it's really just about um, the building being open and seeing people come in and out um, and just sitting and enjoying and asking questions and being interested and enjoying what we offer. We try and offer really good food, we try and offer really good service and people seem to be really responding to that and that's just so encouraging to see.